Welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna talk about my monthly favorites. So first off, you know what? I'm gonna start off with the giveaway. Also, Tammy Lay, a couple months ago I did a giveaway for these little dishes and Tammy Lay won and you never claimed it. So if you are watching, please leave your email down below and this is only for Tammy Lay. Please you leave your email down below and I'll get that to you. Um, but for the new giveaway, I've been working on throwing this piece. This is something I made in the previous month. And it's just a little cup, like a little wine glass. But if you want to win this, all you have to do is find this photo on my ceramics Instagram and leave a comment with your favorite emoji and then I'll pick out a winner in seven days. Also on saranwrap.com, I decided to create a new tab of items that are ready to ship. And then I also put on some like seconds and one-off items. Oh, and ready to ship means that it's ready to ship within the next couple of days. Um, all the other items are kind of made to order, which means it takes about like four to six weeks to make. I've been watching this girl on YouTube. Her name is Victoria Lin, and I believe she lives in China right now. She's a super creative human. Um, she makes a bunch of outfits and short films on how she makes the outfits. Um, her editing is fantastic and you can tell that she puts a lot of thought and effort into her videos. I got a suggestion on one video on how she made a dress out of a bunch of photographs that she took throughout the year just to clear out some space in her phone. But the coolest part is how she edited it and the references that she makes. I love her speaking voice as well. This past month we've watched so many movies and shows um, or started a lot of shows. First movie is on Prime. It's called Saltburn. I know it's been viral and it's like everywhere but I finally watched it and it's fantastic. It's thrilling but not scary. It kind of reminds me of the talented Mr. Ripley. Um, so if you're into that then you gotta watch it and it's really cool outfits and um, music as well. We went to see American Fiction. I really liked that as well. It uh, wasn't what I expected. I thought it was going to be a lot more violent or a lot more action filled but it was, I mean I don't want to give anything away but it was a lot about like taking care of his mom you know so um, really good movie. We got invited by CAA to go see How to Have Sex with a uh, movie and it's not what I thought because the title and the cover of the movie looks a certain way so I was just like well it's going to be kind of like a teen movie but really it goes much more into that so it touches on assault and um, peer pressure and female friendships. Overall really good, kind of uncomfortable but I definitely recommend. We started watching a few shows as well. There's Fargo which is fantastic. Um, it's kind of a little bit too violent for me. I can't really do gore, but it's very thrilling and the acting is fantastic. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, it's like very cute. Like I don't know what to expect from it yet. Um, I'm going to keep watching it because I just like the actors. Curb Your Enthusiasm. So uh, yeah, it's the newest season. I, th I think it's the final season. I'm watching it just because Jason's watching it. I'm not like a crazy fan. I'm really just watching it to watch it, but it's entertaining so far. I do get kind of frustrated and like cringed out by Larry David. I mean, that's the point, right? But sometimes it's like a little bit too much. On Prime, there's another show called Expats. It's about a family in Hong Kong and um, what happens after they lose one of their kids to, to like kidnapping. So the show's not done yet. I have another episode to watch. Um, I don't know how many episodes total there are because it's like an ongoing show still, but so far it's been pretty captivating. The last episode was like almost two hours, so it was kind of long. Of all the shows and the movies that I'm talking about, I would say Expats, definitely watch, and Saltburn, definitely watch. My sister Linda just gave me this book right here. This is Michael Pollan's Food Rules. And the reason why she gave me this is because she gave me this one a while ago. This is the Frankie Spentino, and it's kind of a cook book or cooking manual. There's recipes in here, but there's also techniques and all of that. So I read this through cover to cover and I really liked it. So she was like, hey, you should try this one, Food Rules, Michael Pollan, and see how you like it. And this is the easiest book to read. It's just, there's a lot of blank pages and 
they're just like little rules and then little descriptions. Sometimes there's no descriptions at all. So like a rule like, if it came from a plant, eat it. It was made in a plant, don't. So like stay away from processed food basically. So it's a lot of things that we already know, but I guess when you see it in writing, you kind of start practicing it more. So I read this through in like less than a day. And then Jason said to read this one, so I just started this. This is In Defense of Food, also by Michael Pollan. So far it's good. It's more detailed than this, um, but yeah, so far it's good. I've been wearing these earrings. I wore this to my sister's wedding. They're from Rachel Comey. They're just like blue acetate earrings that I found on Depop, and I really like them. They just kind of bring brightness back up to the face, you know? Whenever I go to a thrift store, I always look in the earrings section now for acetate earrings like this, like bigger earrings. I mean, I like wearing gold hoops a lot, but I'm kind of like tired of wearing gold hoops because I just see it around all the time and I wear it all the time. So for me, I want to switch it up to like plastic earrings. You know, Rachel Comey has some really fun earrings. Paloma Wool has a couple that are really cute too. Um, yeah, so bigger earrings and not gold or silver earrings. I got this Kelly green bag from a company called Can or Con K A A N, and I really like this because it has only one shoulder strap. So whenever you carry a tote bag, you know, oftentimes it's two shoulder straps, so one always falls over on me. I like this because it just stays on. It's pretty deep, so it holds a lot of stuff. And I like the color of it. It's nice and vibrant. It's unlike anything else that I have. So I've been reaching for this a bit more. It's great. It holds everything that I need and then some. I just started using retinol on my face on a day-to-day -day basis. So I started a few years ago, I started with tretinoin and it really irritated my skin. So then my sister was like, hey, she's been using this one from Rock. Um, she gets it at Costco in a, like a two pack for really cheap. So then she gave me one and she's like, hey, this is really good. Um, just use a pea sized amount every other day or so. So the first week that I used it, my skin was a little bit irritated, but not as much as it was when I was using tretinoin. Um, and you know, it just felt a little bit sensitive to the touch. And I knew it was working though, because when I looked at my skin, I'm like, oh my gosh, it just feels different. And then since then, I've been getting so many compliments on my skin. It might also be because in the last like month and a half, I decided to like really cut down on my drinking. So I've only had like two glasses of wine um, and they were both on the same night too. And the following day when I woke up, I had a crazy hangover. So um, yeah, I don't think I'll be drinking anytime soon, but it could be a combination of both of those things. I'll keep you updated um, in terms of what's going on with like the deeper wrinkles and stuff. It says retinol correction, deep wrinkle night cream, visibly reduces deep wrinkles while you sleep. I have some like wrinkles up here. So once I finish this tube, I'll give you all an update. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment. It's from YSL. It's the Couture Mini Clutch in 300. It's just a bunch of neutral tones really. This is what I used on my sister for her wedding. So these two colors for the base and then this to line. So, I mean, very neutral, very simple. This is the only glittery shadow right here. It is a little bit more powdery than I like, but the colors are so beautiful that it's totally worth it. And it blends out easily. I just really like it. I think it's such a perfect combination of colors. And I like that the sparkle adds a little bit of shimmer. So like right underneath the pupil, it looks really cute right there. And it looks like a little clutch, like a little bit puffy and leather. I filmed Lauren Miranda's new apartment tour. Super cute place. And then she gave me this, which is a rock that she wrapped. She taught a course on how to wrap rocks like this too. She has a few at her apartment and then a lot at her studio, but she also has some on her website too. I just love how this looks. It's the perfect paperweight, but also I just keep it right on top of my dresser and just admire it. So yeah, it's just such a work of art. I love this thing. I just pulled this out of my shower, so it's kind of wet, but it's a little crocheted um, washcloth like this. You can stick your hand in it. It's got a little loop. I got this from Counter Space. So last summer, I was uh, dog sitting for Kirill and Alicia. Kirill owns Counter Space. And um, in their shower, they had one of these and it works so well. And 
The great thing about this is that you can drop a bar of soap in here and then just use it as its own little loofah. So I'm between this and one of those Japanese um, long exfoliating cloths. Um, but so far, I really like this. I like cloths like that because it gives you a little bit of an exfoliation, but not too much. And I don't know, it's just different from one of those classic loofahs. I'm still in the process of organizing this um, office space, but I did go to Ikea and found these bins. I bought more, but they're just classic clear bins. They're about the size of a shoebox, but the great thing is that it's see-through so you can see exactly what's inside. It's just really come in handy. So I bought four of them at first and then ended up using it up really quickly. So then I got four more and it's great for the closet. So yeah, you can see through everything and know what's in there. Because I have so many gadgets for filming, like lenses, microphones, and um, all the knickknacks that come with it, you know, chargers and stuff. I also have a couple that's just directly on my desk. I wouldn't keep something like the Ikea one on my desk because like visual clutter is a bummer, you know? On the subject of Daiso, I found this. It's a little shopping cart, super cute. And these go up too. But the great thing about this is that it fits in my medicine cabinet perfectly. So I put little like bobby pins, clips, lip balms, nail clippers, that kind of stuff, you know, the, the little things that it's in the medicine cabinet. It kind of just keeps that stored and organized. So yeah, and it's also really cute too. So I've been enjoying this. So those are all my favorites for the month of February, very short month. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.